Hi, uh, welcome to Bard's Tale 3. This is uh, J. Rodman and part, who knows, I think it's 30, uh, some high number. Uh, this is sort of a fake continuity. I'm doing a Julia Childs here because I managed to crash and lose all progress from the last session. Um, <laughs> so I played a little off camera, uh, doing more or less the same thing, going around in CR. I keep confusing. Solaria Bree and Sir. What the heck is this name? Uh, Sierra Br Brandia. Sierra Brandia. I confused with Solaria Bree. Um, so basically, I just wandered around there and killed stuff. Uh, that the main delta is that I don't have the exact same equipment anymore. Because uh, not the same things dropped. In fact, quite a few more things dropped. I got a bard bow, which I don't know if it does something better than this, but it definitely drops my bard's armor class. No one else seems to be able to use it. Uh, a death drum, which seems to do a death strike. Uh, you know, a kill something in the first 10 feet, which is pretty useful so long as it works. Which <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with. Um, I also got... A stone blade, a second stone blade. The first stone blade we got in Underbrae 4. Um, and the second stone blade I can't use. This is enough to convince me to drop the monk and go back to um, Lady Oak Shield with, because she's able to use the stone blade. So then I'll have two crits instead of one. Uh, which, granted, right now. Um, the monk's damage is enough, but it's not going to be enough. I also got a pure blade. I'm not gonna use that. That's for paladins only, and I don't know, maybe it like heals or something? I don't remember. Um, I'm not gonna remember to use it. I'm just gonna discard it. Uh, what else did I get? I think those are the main things. The death drum. Oh, I figured out the sorcerer's staff effectively disrupts illusions. Oh, and I got this Trick Brick, which casts Rhyme, which is a significant damage on like the first 40 feet or something. It's that Rhyme has actually been my mainstay spell to grind out experience. So I have a second source of it. In fact, I don't know why it's on Griselda. I want to give it to Elendor because, of course, Griselda can cast useful spells and Elendor cannot, being level two of Conjure and level one only affords a heal spell. It's not that great. Okay, so and meanwhile uh, Lillian has hit level 10. Uh, of course the real target is 13. She's going to remain pretty much useless until I get to level 13. But, oh and I forgot to pick up the leaves again. Uh, we'll even carry the leaves. But I do have the uh, spell. So what I'm going to do first is head back to non- uh, to non Arborea, to the land of Scarabray, and make the party change. I'm getting a little confused as to exactly where I am, but I always seem to find the refugee camp quickly enough. So, our incredible armor class monk is at least going away for now. Uh, I guess I should add her back. I need to hand off some equipment. Uh, mostly the stone blade. Is there anything else? No, not really. And 
Lady Oak Shield is back in action. Uh, of course, I juggled equipment around to make Grisnok have better armor. And I'm going to try to juggle it back. I think it's the Adamant Shield, maybe? Shield or Helm? It was the Helm, because it's at the bottom. Trade this to Oak Shield. And this to. I'm going to drop this war staff. I don't need uh, weapons that do a lot of damage anymore when I have a weapon that effectively does infinite damage. Now, I don't know why Oak Shield has three worse armor class than Grisnok right now. I guess it might be extra items or dexterity. Are there extra items? The speed boots count? No. All, all she's got extra beyond shield, she's got shield ring. That's about it. I mean, Adamant Shield. Lady Oak Shield probably doesn't have one of those. Uh, she has gauntlets. Okay, so no upgraded gloves. I guess they wouldn't drop that heavily. That seems like the major, most of it is the gauntlets. Also, Oak, Lady Oak Shield has more hit points, so that's a nice plus. Also, she can use some special items. Uh, I don't. I mean, we just threw one away, <laughs> the Pure Blade, but I don't think Pure Blade is very exciting. I think there's some other items later. Maybe not exciting ones, but some. Okay. So we need a new party name. Uh, the Valkyries didn't last long. We're going to call it, um, I don't know, it's going to be the Avengers. They're really more of the actuarial reconfiguration characters, but okay, so uh, I'm going to run away from the Black Hobbits. And it's time to travel to Arborea again. Again, I'm going to need... This is... I'm going to need... Uh, the code wheel. And it needs to be Tarzan. I think the second choice is what tells me whether it's going to work or not. Nowhere. And these things are teasers. These things, these are generally pretty much all items in the game. Oh, I guess it's the third one that decides. Okay, four, three, two, two, five. Got it on the first try. Now, you can 
you can go away um, and we're back here in Arborea checking my quest notes the first thing we have to do is get a night spear from Valerian's Tower and Valerian's Tower is here although I guess I didn't write it down I can just remember so I'm going to take a route this way-ish and hit a bunch of squares I haven't hit before. My, the uh, avatar is here or here right now. I guess this isn't the way I meant to go. I meant to go south from the east side of the lake. So here. One, two, three. Let's go four, five. We get, of course, told there's some acorns here, which I probably don't have. That probably is from the crash, so let's get some acorns. Yeah. Lillian will take the acorn. There's the note about Valerian's tower, and there's a fight. The Ebon Harpies can do spells that tend to kill Lillian. So I deal with that by casting Night Lance on them. I meant to slow it down, not speed it up. Considering that my damage workhorse at this point is um, Griselda all the time, I don't mind any harmonic gems. You are inside an old battered tower. Do you wish to climb up? I say yes. And we're off to a dungeon. This is Flarian's Tower, so make a new region. Valerian's Tower. Okay, the auto map shows this is a 5x5 five five area. I'm going to believe it and set my map to be a 5x5 five five map. And it shows me midway along one side. Do scry site. It's a little confusing because um, in the world, question mark Tez says, you know, tell me my offsets. Oh, of course it's not going to tell me, but I guess I can assume that the that the entry space is going to be the start of the offsets. This two north and this two south. And this zero whatever, zero anything. And this four east. So 
So I guess the first thing is, well, there's a few different things to start. One of them is we can zoom in a lot because there's a dungeon is small. Next thing, I want the good doors. And the thing I probably should have done first is there are stairs here. We also got notified there's a spinner, which means there's a spinner, um, one of three places, here, here, or here. Um, there's also a spinner here, here, or here. I don't know if it's worth marking these speculations on this small mark map because um, I'll find out pretty quickly. not what I meant to do. So, where's the message indicator? Beyond the shattered door, you see the floor littered with dust and dry leaves. I guess this is like Valerian is some sort of life. Is he a life god or a life hero or a life deity? But that's the general theme. So we haven't hit a spinner yet, so we can be pretty certain the spinner is in the remaining square up here. Huh, that is not supposed to have jumped to the front. Okay, uh, I had to tend to an encoding that finished. And we have our first fight of the tower. This seems pretty normal for Arborea. Um, Shade Cougar's new. Ebon Rangers are new, but it's Ebon stuff. Some wizards. Huge piles of relatively easy monsters. Uh, the Rangers, I don't know, so I'm having my one hit kills attack them. I'm assuming they're probably going to be meaner than the Shade Dogs. Elena, of course, hides. Elendor, are you, do you have an item that seems useful to use right now? I don't know. Maybe I should use the trick brick rather than... Oh, I thought trick brick did a rhyme. What does it do? Let's try the shade dogs. Um, Nightlands will not reach the black wizard. So I am going to cast Rhyme. So this is the Rhyme spell. It's hitting everyone for freezing damage, I think up to 50 feet. 100 damage is not a lot anymore. It was a lot like right before we killed Belhasti. But nowadays, there's a lot of monsters that are like, you can hit me with that six or seven times, and I don't care. So the E1 Rangers can poison. This is the trick brick. It's doing 50-ish damage to one group. Oh, and they summon more, the rangers. That's easy to fix. 
The shade cougars summon more with spells. That is not as easy to fix. I oh well, I guess I have a high level caster now. So So Robin's tune for the shade dogs. I guess I'm gonna attack the ranger with Alina. Um I want to use a trick brick again. Is it needed at this point in the combat? I'm going to use it. I want to get rid of this black wizard because generally wizards are bad news. I did not get rid of it. a lot of different oh I'm gonna attack the black wizard who moved in combat range a lot of different things trying to summon so reclusion is my next step I think we're in the mop up phase. And I get with it just as I say that. The Chronomancer actually gets a um, anti aging spell. Not really soon, but later. And this, that marks the first time in the game series where you're able to actually cure <laughs> Withering, which has been being afflicting you since the first game. It's kind of funny. The second game you get to be able to cure being turned to stone. Uh, The first game, Stone, is just you're, you have to wander back to the temples every single time, no matter how high level you are. You've mastered every spell in the game, someone gets stoned, you have to go to the temple. It's, of course, a different philosophy from some of the games that, preclude, that preceded Bard's Tale, where... All kinds of things happen that were unfixable by anything. Acid burst. Acid burst. I wonder if Elaine is good at this untrapping stuff now that she's level 35. Somehow I raced the stairs from... I must have just pressed spacebar or something and done them again. Where are you, stairs? There you are. Hey, come back, come back. Okay. So at this point, when I turn south, it says there are stairs near because it's sensing one, two, three. West, I don't sense anything. The north, obviously, I sense the stairs. I don't know why this dinner is here. And to the east, something special. Could 
be a lot of things. Okay, so... <laughs> Space player makes the last thing he did. So, um, from the corner it looks like we can't tell whether something's a wall or a door. Or at least I can't yet. Unlike the old dungeon tiles where I could pretty much tell based on the half toning. So, oh, maybe it's just that there's a fight. I was going to say that we must be standing on the special because it's not telling me there's a special. These guys are pretty um, good at the poisoning, and they even if I raise my armor class to close to negative 50, they seem to hit me pretty regularly anyway. Poison darts. Yeah, it's not... Something special is near and they step in and it's not near, so... What is special about this spot? Are my spell points going up? I mean... They're going up but I have a mage staff, so they're supposed to go up. How fast are they going up? They only have one at a time. So, it's not a magic refill room. here. Okay, moving on. Here we have a spinner and something. Last time I remember something was, uh, it was a uh, hit point drain. Maybe the something special was the fact that this is a one-way wall. Is that does that qualify? I didn't think that walls types qualified as specials or non-specials. But that totally trapped me. I can't I was gonna go back and try to cross-reference these spinners and something. Okay, so I went forward and we still have spinner in something. So they're probably in the next two. And there's nothing interesting to the east. Oh, look going this way, we got something, and then when we stepped here, we got a spinner. So the spinner must be in the middle. Because we would have detected one, two, three, and we didn't detect it, and then when we could detect here, we could, so. Of course, that's kind of useless information, because I'm about to step in there and find out that I'm standing on a spinner by the flash. 
And I can tell when I'm facing west, as it says there's stairs near. Uh, so the first thing we saw was across the way was a door, and then we saw another door. And we saw another door when we went from the south, too, so... Always are doors out of the spinner. It's a pretty typical trick that they play so that you can't, you have no idea which way you're facing. The east, we just see, we detect stairs, which is not surprising. We're detecting the stairs we came up on. To the north, we also detect stairs. Uh, stairs we didn't sense before, so there's probably stairs here or here. Oh, and now we have a nice little darkness square. Hopefully it's not a spinner too. And looking north, we do not detect stairs. So, stairs should be here. Oh wait, I lied. I have no idea because we don't detect stairs facing north or south. The darkness may override the messaging. So the south there's either a wall or a door. If I kick, I go through, so I think it's a door. Uh here okay, so this is a larger fight with several Ixtal wizards. I don't think I have 80 foot spells. They probably don't either. So I guess I'll start killing the things in range. I don't know if I'm particularly afraid of any of these things. Maybe I should be. I have no idea what an Ixtil Nymph is. I don't know what gargoyles can do. I'm imagining ape soldiers are basically slightly improved ape grunts, and the grunts were the easiest thing that I have fought in this world, so. I also ask you, does that look like an ape to you? I'm going to attack the nymphs, mostly. Because... Nymph sounds like caster to me, and I don't know if they're going to start doing group spells. The wizards came closer, so I'm going to give them a taste of Night Lance. Lillian took some damage, so she's going to heal herself, as she often does. To minimize the number of times she dies. Although, this time she died. Should slow the combat down a little so I can tell which ones are doing group attacks or breath attacks or things like that. Well, I guess I'm not going to find out if they're all dead.
I guess Ryan only goes 40 feet. Because it just didn't hit the wizards at all. Breathing fire is just not something I would expect a wizard to do. Maybe it's a dragon wizard. They don't look like dragons though. They probably should have put some work into making the barred hit point refill thing go a little faster because it can get a little silly here we go watch it it's filling up our hit points still filling them up okay it's done for now acid burst it's just such a weird feeling having your robe just work do her job. If only she could learn to hit things reliably. Oh, I can't. I'm doing U7 and she's dead. It's like, she's dead. She's not going to use any items. So I forgot to resurrect her on the last round, which is usually what I do. Ape soldiers and corsairs. The corsairs are meaner than the soldiers, probably, by I would imagine a fair bit. So, to the extent that I attack them hand to hand, it's going to be the corsairs. Hmm. Elendor. Sure, use a trick brick on the Corsairs and rhyme it up. I forget what spell what song I used. It should have been the armor song because they're all attacking hand to hand. I did do the armor song. Though it landed a little late in that round. Too much good. More armor song. Seventy four damage. That's pretty significant.
80 damage. I feel like if that armor class is not good enough, nothing's gonna be. So with my bard's uh, abilities cranking up nine points per turn. It feels like it should be a lot of healing. You know, the first round, she does that spell. Everyone should take nine points of healing. On the second round, they take 18, but cumulatively it's 27, and then the next round they take 27, and cumulatively, etc. It just seems like it should be a lot, but in the face of enemies hitting us for like 100, it's not, it's not that much. Avian. That is a curious description. I don't even know if avian is synonymous with bird or if it's slightly different. Like, does it just mean something that flies? Anyway, um, yeah. That's not what I meant. Armor song, hide. Is there something better for short distances? I don't know. We're going to use Night Lance. I mean, like, Force Focus is more efficient, but I think it just does way too little damage at this, in, the, in this game. That's a Shade Dog that breathed on us. What if they all breathed on us? The freezing power of Night Lance. Being an Archmage is kind of nice, at least for now. Okay. Soul whip the avian? Maybe? I bet it's gonna have too many hit points for that to be very effective. Oh, no. Worked just great. Hmm, more harmonic gems. And an unspecified item. Which could of course be a harmonic gem. I 
identified. <laughs> I'm out of here. Some variety might be nice though. Oh, let's look at let's look at her post real hasty abilities. Disarm traps 99%. Identify chest 97%. Identify item 97%. That's so different. They were all hovering around 40% before. Uh, the bard's just gonna say 35. You know, 35 songs, which is misleading anyway. Huh. So, this is a little space where you can walk back and forth between light and darkness. Yep. And something and something special are... Okay, so something special from here and then special and something. So we went from this space to this space. One, two, three. I'm gonna just put this down here speculatively. I think that's what we're gonna get. Oop. Black Wizard, Corsair, Shade Cougars. Okay. Um, the cougar summons something. I don't think I know what it is yet. Maybe I don't want to know. Do I have anything that goes 80 feet? I don't think I have any spells that reach 80 feet yet. Probably edit that out, but pardon me all the same. Okay, the wizards are now in Night Lance range. So Night Lance it is. And quick fix yourself, Lillian. Try not to die. I think that spell fizzled is a summon that I blocked. Black wizards don't accept the Nightlands into their lives. Hmm. I think they'll, they'll just be stoned soon, so... I don't know why they cast a single target spell at Lillian as if she was threatening them. She just she's just hanging a lot hanging out for the you know for the jokes for the lols. She hasn't attacked any of you. God damn it. Look, and there's that funny thing. I healed her after she died, so she's at full hit points, but dead. That's just how they coded it. Beyond death. Oh. 
I don't understand what happened because I thought that we killed him first, but I guess not. No experience points for Lillian. Here's our, here's one of the specials. An old tapestry adorns the wall here. It depicts a beautiful castle under Neath the lake. I think this is trying to tell me go use those breathing spells you got and explore under the lake. Oh, I am somehow moving the floor around with some keystrokes that. I shift left. I wasn't doing those things. Oh, I was rotating? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Oh, I, how, how did I command up? Okay, so I, this, this is not what I wanted. And when I, some of them happen to move this stuff too. Okay, so. Okay, now, now we have back the way I started it. I should just have used undo. Um, okay. Command up is supposed to put a door in keyboard mode. I don't know why it's flip your whole map around in the other mode. Mud dragons, are they going to breathe where they stand? Probably. Lillian is probably dead. Oh, they advanced, uh, which means they die. It turns out Mud golems are not immune to nightlands. Gas cloud, gas cloud. Elena found an item. Okay. I thought it would be faster to um, explore this dungeon than it is because. I don't know, I thought there would be fewer long fights. And I was right about this room. How did none of them die? Is one dead? Oh, I'm missing. Uh, maybe because I'm old.
And why is that one being old didn't seem to do anything? Maybe because I was generally in places where I could have hit them anyway. Here, maybe I'm on the edge of what I can do, and so when I'm old, it doesn't work anymore. In fact, like, I probably had been made old maybe 20 times before I figured out that it lowered my stats in the original game. Partly because you don't look at your stat screen very often. I mean, your health is shown on this table, so everything's fine. Stairs up. I say no. Are there anything that I left behind in that big disaster of flipping everything around? Looks like no. Can I go through the wall? Yes, I can go through the walls here. And the map software is trying to help me by preventing me from going through the wall. So something ahead is, is the hit point drain. I think it, after the first time I would just be like an ominous feeling or just tell me hit point drain. Ixtal nymphs. Oh, they, they're, they're like nymphs like bugs. How do you feel about Nightlands, Pixel Nymphs? Seems that you don't like Nightlands. I like Nightlands. And I cannot abide people who do not share my preferences. How many hit point, or experience points does she have? I think the target is 230,000? 150,000, so... Large percentage of the way there, but... Not super close to the reward, the prize, or the goal. I don't think I've ever seen a DeLorean. I just I've killed them. been behind something else and I've been lobbing big spells and killing them all really fast. Oh, that's why I didn't kill it because it was too far away. That seems like the perfect opportunity to run. You're, you're like, hi, I'm a DeLorean. Would you like to make friends? And we like all take out our swords and stuff and start charging him. And it seems like he should be like, bye. Okay, so we're from darkness. And it looks like there's something in front of us, says the auto map. Something I can't figure out. I 
not move forward when the stairs are here. Maybe there's a door like this. Hmm. Giant python. Giant python, do you have infinite spell hit points? Because if you do, there's like a paradox about to play out. probably cast rest but I'm gonna I don't know I don't know what I should do part of me wants to cast rest to keep Lillian alive but I don't think she's gonna be alive no matter what I don't think I'm even gonna bother resurrecting her until these gargoyles are dead. Doesn't seem to be much point. Being a little speculative here, I'm resurrecting her the same round I'm going to finish killing the gargoyles. seriously need a way to uh, start fixing this old Two hundred damage is not enough for Ixel Corsairs. touch bar. I'm accidentally adjusting the brightness without meaning to.
test cloud. Must be a one way wall. And it's a one way wall here, too. One question is, was it a one-way wall into the spinner room? Based on the map, it was. Okay, I finished this level. And now I'm going to go get on old. Spinner, I'm going to use phase door. and check how long this is. Okay, apparently this is too long already. Uh, so that was the first level of Valerian's Tower. 